Welcome to the Tinker's Workshop and part four of the David Steele so Silva CNC machine build. This machine, as you've seen in part one and part three, we're building. And uh, as usual, I cannot give you the dimensions or the parts list for this machine. You'll have to go out online to sosilva.com to get that information. That's David Steele and his design and uh, I'm not going to take anything away from him. I'm not allowed to and I simply will not do that. But in our videos here I'm showing you exactly uh, what it's going to take to put one of these machines together. It's not difficult and anyone can do it and uh, so hopefully I can relay that information on to you. Uh, this week I was at the QC CoLab Makerspace in Davenport, Iowa where we started uh, assembly of the machine of all the parts that we've made in parts in the, the videos part one through part three and uh, so we'll build the the stand that I designed here that's the same thing we have on this machine and the table here and the shelf that goes down underneath this table. Uh, the, the stand was my design I'll, I'll put out drawings and plans on my uh, blog site here so ch take a look at that in case you might want to might want to go that route. I went that route simply because it was a simpler stand to use David Steele's design is a good design, it just simply did not work well in my little shop here. Uh, I wanted something a little simpler. So, uh, not to delay any further, let's, let's go to the video and uh, you'll see what we've done in, in the makerspace at Davenport. Here's my friend John assembling the, uh, actually the worktop are the, the top of the CNC machine uh, where we're going to have our T-slot table. These are just nothing more than a 2x4 framework and he's putting in uh, number 10 uh, 3 inch wood screws through, uh, through the 2x4s that have already been uh, pre-drilled. Uh, just makes it so much easier to uh, assemble these parts without having to worry about cracking uh, the wood. The top piece here uh, in the middle is one of the T-slots uh, that uh, I designed for the new model and he put that in the middle and then we spaced them out using half inch wooden spacers and so that they'd be evenly spaced across the top. And John here is again screwing these down uh, with uh, three inch wood screws and uh, making sure it's nice and nice and tight. The guy in the red hat here is Steve Hamer the president of the QC CoLab makerspace and he's helping John uh, hold everything in place while while he's putting in the in the hardware to uh, mount these uh, uh, T-slot uh, pieces. Steve's looking at the uh, clamp here now the, uh, uh, for the CNC machine. That'll hold all your parts uh, in place while you're machining or engraving. And these are come from a company called Rockler and they handle all kinds of woodworking tools. And This is a great clamp. I use this at the uh, Tinker's Workshop. And so we're going to use them again here at the uh, QC CoLab. We'll modify it a little bit though. The, uh, the thread is a standard thread, um, but we'll, we'll go with uh, a bolt instead and make it longer so that we've got the length to handle that uh, 2x4 uh, T-slot table. The guy with the drill here now is Ben Ziegler, another member of the QC CoLab that is helping John uh, assemble the what looks like the same thing again it's very similar this is the framework or the, for the stand uh, that your CNC uh, machine will stand on and Ben's uh, screwing in the uh, upper supports uh, the vertical supports I should say for the stand right now and uh, so those again were all pre-drilled and running in uh, two and a half inch wood screws here to, to go in to hold everything nice and tight and strong Now I'll take the, uh, the, the table uh, down below. This is where you uh, mount the PC and the electronics uh, box. And this is nothing more than a slatted table. It's not as critical as the T-slot table. But instead of starting in the middle, we're starting on the ends and sliding them out to uh, butt up against the uh, vertical supports on the stand. And again, they're running, uh, these are only one by fours they're running here. And so they only have to go about an inch and a half uh, wood screws that are again pre-drilled and using an electric drill here makes it uh, the work go so much quicker. So I'll take the remaining uh, 
one by fours and space them out well, they're right around an inch and a half apart and you could go solid all the way across if you want to go that route but there's really no need not simply because I, I didn't have to worry about anything falling through the 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 lower portion of the stand uh, again it's just for the PC uh, uh, tower and the electronics box here there John and uh, Ben are getting the the last board mounted in and there's only like you know two screws on each place so they're talking six screws so it's, it, go, it goes fairly quick and once this is all screwed together it can be uh, sanded or and painted um, and then go from there this upper portion is the uh, st of the stand is where we mount the table and I, we put the table up on top first and then uh, grab the line and then we put these two by fours in to give it more support so the table will rest on the two by fours rather than uh, the vertical supports they're clamped in place again screwed in with two and a half inch wood screws and uh, so it makes it very strong again once these are all screwed in it's no need to uh, do anything more than paint it and so we get it ready to to go So here Ben is mounting the, the backboard for the back of the machine. This is for the shelf underneath uh, to slide through. I didn't want to have the, uh, the shelf slide all the way through. This is just a backer board. At this point I had to go back to work and so I couldn't videotape, but I could show you here. The red pieces are the uh, rails that the shelf will slide on. And these are nothing more than two by twos. And the yellow pieces that this illustrates is just a, a spacer in between the vertical supports so that uh, the shelf slides in nice and straight and doesn't get hung up. Here John's uh, drilling out uh, pilot holes for the uh, casters that will go on the bottom of the uh, stand. And he, he put the uh, caster up there already and marked out uh, the spots and he's, he's drilling them out here now with pilot holes so that, so that he can screw it all in. There he takes the, the caster and runs in an uh, inch and a half wood screws there. Uh, number 10s are plenty strong, uh, big enough to, to handle the caster. So he, he drills these, uh, takes the drill and screws them down in, in all four corners and, and it makes it nice and straight, uh, uh, strong and straight and, and uh, it'll handle the, the weight of the stand and, and the CNC very well. Here the stand's complete with uh, the top on it. John's rolling around and showing his work and handiwork. Goes ta da! Well, John and uh, Ben here are, are cutting the uh, panel for the the shelf uh, that goes in the into the stand. This is nothing more than half inch uh, exterior grade plywood. And then uh, Steve here, uh, Hamer, is uh, laying down a bead of glue to lay in the one by fours to give you the support underneath. And then these are these are all clamped in place and uh, let, let to dry. So that's about it for the uh, part four here of the CNC build for the QC Colab. Uh, stay tuned for part five and six and so forth and uh, we'll continue on and, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video that we've, we've shown here today from the QC Colab.